Okay, well, here's a little grinder mixer update for y'all. So, most of the parts on this thing are discontinued. Um, I think I mentioned that in the last video, but. So, we got it pulled out. Shaft was bent. Uh, these hammers pretty well wore out. They've been flipped all except one turn, I think. So, my uncle found a whole hammer online out of a salvage unit, a 358. Uh, apparently, this, this model 355 is one of the later last models. So, apparently, some of the parts on different grinders will fit this one, but some of the parts on this one won't fit on older ones. Something like that. So, luckily... Found a salvage unit. Apparently the knives have only been flipped once on this one, so it's less wore out. Um was able to get all the he was able to get all the bearings and races and stuff like that. The shaft is straight. So we got that thing put in there last night. Uh that was the hard part. The easy part's just gonna be bolting everything back together. And then putting the belt on and everything. I hate this piece of crap. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, I'll have to get a new grease line for that bearing right there because that's the booger that caused all this problem. So, anyways, it'll uh, it'll all work out. And then we can get this thing out. And this is the second disc bind I've been through. The other one's sitting down there. It's got a U-joint. Well, it's got the whole shaft missing over here. There it is down there. It's missing the top, that whole top shaft for the roller. It's just gone. So, today's Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday, so be a little bit before we get parts for that one, but then that one will be good. That one, knives are changed, gearbox is checked, greased. That one's ready at, once we get that shaft, and then I'm doing I'm halfway through the knives on this thing, and then gearboxes, and then grease, and it should be this one should be ready to roll, and then the two disc binds will be good. That way, when about a month, what is the day? The day is the 14th. So about a month from now, all we'll have to do is just hook up and mow hay. Hopefully. Uh, probably the next thing to come in here will be the planter. If I had to guess, once we get that buttoned up and this out of here. Because um, we're planning on planting some soybeans as soon as it dries up. Uh, we're going to try some early beans. So we haven't got anything sprayed yet. Sprayer's sitting out back. It's, I think, ready to roll. So I think... Hopefully, if the wind dies down, to, to, we got tomorrow and Tuesday before more rain Wednesday. So maybe we can get some stuff burnt down tomorrow or tomorrow and Tuesday for these beans, maybe. And we're going we're gonna to plant about 20, what is that, six acres, 12, about 18 we're going to for sure do 18 acres of early soybeans and maybe another farm if weather permits. We're going to because that farm up there is share crop, we're going to plant the beans and the corn at the same time because it's the farthest farm from here. So that way we don't have to move back and forth. Anyway, uh, yeah. So yeah, so we're going to go from there. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, got the 7220. Came with a quarter tank of fuel, uh, which is normal. Uh, I filled it up because I was spreading fertilizer with a buggy, I think. I thought I didn't want to run out of fuel. Turns out, it's got splits in the tank. Right there. So that tank is junk. Uh, the new tank's already on it sitting down there 
So, yay, already putting parts on a new tractor, but it's a 21 year old tractor. It's a used tractor. You're gonna find stuff like that wrong with it. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to changing knives here. I'm gonna try to get this thing out. And then if this wind don't die down, I might just go home. I don't know. I was gonna mow the yard. Uh, I was gonna mow up here at a place around a barn so it don't get grown up. But if the wind don't die down, it might not happen. You can see it on the tree there. But whatever, whatever. Grass is green. Everything, everything's getting with it.